All right, ladies and germs. So, somebody asked me what one of my more comical memories and stories from the Army is, so I have a good one for you. So, I'm not going to name any names or anything. I don't want to embarrass anybody, any of my friends that might be watching this or whatever, but this is a great story. So, me and a couple of... Uh, my buddies were chilling outside the barrack one night. We're doing uh, a field exercise. So we're basically out in the woods, you know, for three weeks doing combat drills and all kinds of stuff like that, which it can get really stressful. But at the same time, it's like, those are the fun times, you know, especially towards the end of it, because, you know, people start drinking and bonding and fighting and, you know, doing all the shit that us infantry guys like to do. So there's two companies from the battalion that are out there training together. You have my company, which is Alpha, and you have Bravo. So, we're sitting there one night getting pretty pretty good and uh, liquefied, you know. And this big cat we have in our unit, he's, he turns around and he's like, I want to steal Bravo's guide on, you know. We're kind of sitting there, we're like, it's probably not a good idea. And he's like, nope. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna steal Bravo's guide on, and I'm gonna do it butt naked. We're like, all right, well, you know, we're not gonna be there for that because uh, this is gonna go badly. So anyway, me and a couple of my buddies were go stand outside our barracks, and uh, you know, we're smoking cigarettes and joking, and all of a sudden we hear this, ah, help, help, and as and then we hear this, get that motherfucker. So me and my friends look over and sure enough there's buddy running butt naked with their guide on fucking right past our barracks i'm in over my head i need some help all of bravo companies chasing him me and my friends are just sitting there dying right and all of a sudden as he's running this one guy from bravo like lunges behind him to try to grab the guide on right and at the same time that he's trying to grab the guide on old buddy decides he's gonna drop the guide on hoping that you know it'll get them off his ass and he can run away but the problem is he moves back to drop it the same time the guy lunges forward so if you've never seen a guide on in the military they're really pointy at the bottom he ends up stabbing the guy in the fucking face with the guide on okay so of course bravo being pissed off with him already and they think he fucking hit the guy with the guide on on purpose, which was totally not his intention. But they tackle him, butt naked, running him into the fucking ground, grabbing him up. They pick him up and they start walking off in the woods with him. And all of a sudden you hear this, fuck this motherfucker. Let's go put his dick in an anthill. And you just hear this guy, no, no, please don't. And he's a cop in civilian life. We're National Guard. And he's like, tell him, he's like, no, please. He's like, I'm a cop, man, don't do that. And as soon as he yells, I'm a cop, all of Bravo, or Bravo's uh, E6 yells out, fuck it, put his dick in two anthills. <laughs> and you just hear, no, don't put his dick in an anthill. Of course, you know, we jumped in, we got our boy away from him, fucking saved him and everything, but God damn, that was the funniest thing I've ever heard. Put his dick in an anthill. No, man. I'm a cop. Yeah. Put his dick in two anthills. No. Don't put his dick in an anthill. I don't know if I'm telling the story as good as it was just being there and seeing it visually. But that was probably one of the funniest things I've ever seen happen. Anyway, that was my story for the day. So I hope you enjoyed it.